G'day all. Here we have this beautiful little miniature Ryder Ericsson Sterling engine. It's uh, made by Ocmo or Microcosm. This one is the RO1 model and it's of course in the red configuration, though they do come in other colours. Just look how exquisite all the machining is on this. Absolutely beautiful. It's got the pump, the, the Ryder Ericsson pump system here. So it's drawing water in through this bucket. Coming up, that's the little priming mechanism that you put a little bit of water in here. We've got the exhaust here. We've got the water pump outlet here. Here's the little gas reservoir that you fill up. So how about we fire it up? So we open up the furnace door. Fat fingers, of course. Turn the gas on. You can hear that pumping now. Yep, that's light. Close up the furnace door. Just give that 30 seconds or so to warm up. But just have a look at that. It's just absolutely magnificent. I think that gas went out. Just give that a little bit more to warm it up. All right, let's see if it fires up. So I've already primed the pump. And you can see the pump's working straight away. So that pump is reticulating through and keeping that casting cool. I had one little test run before this video, but besides that, this is the pretty much the second time, or it is the second time that I've run it. This is my first Ryder Ericsson Sterling engine, and it's just absolutely beautiful. I'll turn the gas off and see how long it goes for.
still firing from that heat. You can just see it starting to slow down now. Alright, that's up. So I'll just give you a close up on a few things. So, as I said, this is the. You unscrew this. This is a very small thread. You just see that there. Even this has been machined nicely. Look at that. I hope the camera's picking that up. I dropped it. Fat fingers, Jim. Sausage, sausage fingers, I should say. But I'd say that's about a 2mm thread. But just look at the machining, even on that part. Just so exquisite. So you prime this here. You put a few drops of water in here. Give it a bit of a turnover. That's so it didn't suck that water down because it's, a, it's already primed. You screw that on. Like so. And that's your priming mechanism. Here's your water reservoir. So it's reticulating up through here, through the jacket, cooling down, then coming back down there. Okay, I'm back. That was a bit of a phone glitch. The phone switched itself off. So I think I was up to, here's your refillable little um, gas tank. And you've got your, your gas pipe going down to the little burner in there. Here's your smokestack, brass smokestack. It's on a very nice wooden plinth. But uh, look, the machining in here is just absolutely exquisite. You've got even two tiny little holes here at the top. Uh, Jin's drilled through so that you can put a drop of oil on each one of those. On those two bearings, those brass bearings there. But look at that mechanism. How that Ryder Ericsson works. Now, it's a really good history. If you um, go into Wikipedia and type in Ryder Ericsson, you'll uh, get a lot of information on these really nice engines. Like They're still very popular. These were used in lots of different industries in the early, the late 1800s, I think, in the early 1900s, definitely. But I'll just show you that mechanism here. Just have a look here. See how that comes up? Is that just absolutely exquisite? You've got your internal piston in there. This is driving the water pump here. It's just absolutely, to me, just an exquisite engine. Anyway, as always, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's much appreciated. And uh, I will see you again in the next video. Stay safe, everybody. Bye for now.